with you today for the Salami 101 workshop. So I'm Frank Bavetza, I'm from Home Make It and uh, we're, we're here at the fabulous uh, farmhouse at Farm Vegano in uh, South Marine. We're doing the workshop of Salami 101, so teaching teaching 24 participants uh, how to make salami and showing them how to break down a pig. Fat is flavour in your salami, you don't, you don't want to go making salami and trimming off every bit of fat. Showing where prosciutto comes from, where capicola comes from, where pancetta comes from, where the meat from salami comes from. Some pork neck or capicola. I'll bone out the loin, take it off the bone um, and then show you um, other cuts that you can cure as well. I've actually come from Albany in Western Australia, 400 kilometres south of Perth. Actually getting the opportunity to get hands on is what I'm really into and having that whole sort of process from, from carcass to finished product is, is fantastic. Today we're going to be using a, an electric mincer. You do want to go a 30-70% a 30, uh, fat cover. In its raw form, that's how, that's how the salami... I've made sausages once before, many, many years ago with, with, my, with my family and I really found that I just love the ambiance of doing a, a family cook-up together. This is, as I said, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is really, really important at this stage. You know? Yeah, you want to try to keep it consistent. These guys are ready, you're all ready here, guys. It's done, everyone's happy with their mixing. We'll be making our way upstairs uh, just for some lunch. So, filling salami is very important that you have as little to no air in, in the, in the, uh, the meat when you fill them up. And you want to hold, you want to hold it firm enough so that it doesn't just pour out. But you want to tie it as close down to the meat as possible. The main reason for coming today was to um, really learn how to do this. I've never done it before, um, and we just thought it'd be really great to process our own meat and to make things that we like to eat. To see uh, the boys produce and bone out the pig and just the steps they've gone through, it's been quite a good day actually. Hanging them and then anticipating the, the flavours that you've you know, put into that, that into that meat. After two months you've got salami, that's, that's what it's all about for me. It's not only just the actual product that we cut and we eat and we enjoy, but it's also the process and, and the symbolic uh, aspect of bringing people together to make salami.